Hello you guys. I know it's been a while since um, I've made a video or at least posted a video on um, YouTube, but there has been something else that has been keeping me, I guess, captivated in a way, um, but I will discuss my new venture a little bit later or maybe in another video. But right now I do want to kind of discuss a little bit about my hair and um, where it has gone in this past three months since I have been completely natural and since I've done my big chop. So, last time I showed you guys the length of my hair, it came, I want to say, right about there. This little dot is right here. Um, and since then, of course, it's grown. Um, I want to say that the front part of my hair and the sides of my hair grow a little bit slower than, of course, my crown and the back side of my hair. So, there is a huge difference in length, but it's really not that bad, um, especially since all of this shr um, shrinkage, can I say that word? Um, you can't tell. Once I pull it out, but um, guess I'll pull out this front piece. Like I said, at first it was coming right there, but now let's see if I can figure all the way down there and make a little mark. It's now coming right there. So I mean, from here, there, that's you know a good mm, inch, I believe. So about an inch, um, and then you can see my sides, how long my sides have grown, which is pretty decent. And the sides of my hair, as well as the, the back, is a completely different texture, as I've said before, than the crown and the front of my hair. So it just grows way faster back here, and it's way longer. And my curl back here are not as curly as up here, but I don't have, I guess, kinky or coily textured here. I'm not sure, so if any one of you ladies and whoever see this video and you guys know what type of texture here I have or whatever you guys want to call it, 2C, 3A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, let me know because I want to know what kind of hair I have. Um, but yeah, it's really fine back hair. Curls are really big, loose, and I mean, it's just soft. Up in here, too, it's soft. It's just more dense. And um, of course, the curls are smaller, but they're not, like I said, they're not kinky, they're not coily, and they're just not tight curls. They're just so much more abundant than the rest of my head so it's just weird but I mean I don't know if you can see that I mean it's growing a lot and I love it I love it I love it only problem is I don't know if it's because my hair is so soft or I just don't know what the hell I'm doing I can't find anything to do with my hair like I oh I flat ironed it a couple days ago did I take pictures no yeah I liked it um I just, for some reason, didn't take good enough pictures to have any to post. Um, but what I did was I went out and bought this Tresemme Thermal Creations. Um, it's a heat tamer spray, which is vitamin enriched, and it is specially formulated to work with heat appliances. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But it didn't have any ingredients that really worried me, but then again... Who knows, I just needed something to protect my hair from me flat ironing it. And I just did that because I wanted to see the length um, without having to stretch out my curls. Because you really can't tell, you know, with curls. Um, and I also bought this so um, when I washed it, I could rehydrate my hair, I guess. And it's Curl Hydration Flawless Curls by Tresemme as well. Um, both of these I got at Walmart and they weren't over $4. It was like 3 33 for one and then like 370 something or something like that for the other so um that's the only reason why I bought it it was cheap um which is great and yeah so I'm just happy I'm happy my hair is growing um I had thought about cutting it again but I really want to see what my curl pattern is going to look like um I just want to see how beautiful and long my hair can can grow so I guess I will not cut it this time. 
just let it grow and see how beautiful my curls are and I'm trying to clean my Denman brush because it has hair in it but um normally when I do wash my hair I do say I try not to wet my hair every day I try not to wash my hair every day but now especially since it's so hot outside I just do I really don't think it's good to do it but I have to my hair really is me because every time I come home from work and I'm driving in a car, I play with my hair. I mean, I do this. I take the back of my curls while I'm driving and I just pull them out, slip my fingers through them, do this. I mean, my hair be looking hot mess. So by the next day, I don't have second day hair. And also, even when I do like tie my hair down at night, um, I wake up the next morning and my hair is flat. You know, it's not, a, it doesn't stay. So, I mean, basically that's what I have to do. But today, I didn't wet it with water. I did take my Curl Hydration by Tresemme, and I put that in my hair, and then I added some of uh, Carol's Daughter Hair Milk Curl Definer. That's all I did today. So it worked. I mean, my hair was cute. It ain't cute now. Mm-mm. Then, yeah, mm-mm. So, don't mind the mess. And yes, I did pull it out, so that's probably why I look like a clown. Two pieces of hair sticking out on the side, but... Yeah. But like I said, you can tell, though, that the size of my hair is way softer. Or way... The curls are just way bigger than what's up here. And I know I'm probably messing up my curl pattern, but I don't care. I'm gonna wash it, and it's gonna curl right back up. So, it's all good. Especially back here. I mean, I just love my hair, like, back here. It's pretty. Okay. So, I... guys signing off have a good day